Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. Today I want to talk about a topic that came up in my pants fitting class that I'm teaching virtually for Master of the Art of Sewing um, on Thursday nights. And it's a really cool topic and it's a very common um, fitting issue. So the question is, if you scoop the back and or front crotch curve to remove extra vertical length on the back leg, have you shortened your inseam too much? Now let's think about that for a second. This is one of the most common pants fitting issues that I've run across both um, online and also when I do my hands-on workshops. And what happens is you make your fit muslin and you end up with fabric that's sort of loose um, you know, on the back leg like this. And so one of the common ways to fix that is to scoop the back crotch. So it could be an adjustment that looks something like this. And so let's say we scoop and maybe we have to come up here a little bit. Okay, so let's say we scoop and it's picking up the extra fabric that was was caught essentially below your crotch level. Now, you may have to pleat it out once you get up here. Like after you make this adjustment, you may have to actually deal with it um, by pleating it out of the full hip, but that's not what I wanna talk about today. What I wanna talk about is when you scoop, you're also shortening your inseam. And sometimes when you do that, you, you smooth out these loose vertical wrinkles, but then you end up with another kind of wrinkle, and that kind of wrinkle looks like a diagonal drag line along your inseam. And sometimes you can see it in the front and the back, but basically it's pulling like this now because scooping fixed the, fixed the vertical issue you're having here but it shortened your inseam. So I'm just gonna cut my legs in half here. We'll deal with the back first. You can increase length uh, of your inseam is by doing a wedge adjustment. And by wedge, I mean we're gonna do a slash and pivot. So you can draw a horizontal guideline across your leg you would slash through the inseam and to the side seam, but not through the side seam. So essentially you'd create a pivot here. You can spread the inseam to put back length on your, um, on your inseam. Okay, so you, what you would do is you would just take some paper and you would just spread it and then tape it in place. Okay, now you may say to yourself that, well, I just undid the scooping adjustment, but if we look at it really carefully, we are adding length here, okay? and I'll paint it green, okay? So by the time you get over here, almost nothing is added. Most of what you're adding is right along this inseam. And if you compare the amount you scooped to the amount that you had to lengthen it back out, you're gonna see that you've still lowered the position of the crotch curve. That's how you can very easily fix that. And I always say, when you're making any sort of change to your crotch curve, you wanna just double check and make sure that your inseams still match. So what you can do is, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut these legs off at the knee. Okay, I'm also gonna cut off the inseam here. I mean, I'm gonna cut the extra paper off here. And just for the record, this adjustment is the kind of scoop you would have to do for a low full butt. 
Okay, so meaning you carry the fullness of your butt um, low in the back and look at your inseam. Your inseam actually is higher than the base of the back crotch curve. So that is a that is a shape to look for if you have a low full hip. All right, so I'm gonna put this now right sides together. And what I wanna show you here is if I mark my seam allowance, and I'm just gonna cut off my new, you know, my new crotch front crotch curve, just so you can see. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll just cut this whole thing off here. Okay, if I line this up, you can see that I had to lengthen the back, but I did not have to lengthen the front. So don't automatically assume that if you had to lengthen the back because you're seeing these diagonal wrinkles, you know, running down the inseam, you might not necessarily need to add it to the front. Okay, so always check. So in this case, I'm gonna put my inseams together here. I'm gonna overlap. Okay, and you can see I've got this shape that comes down. It keeps going down to accommodate a low full butt and then it comes back up. And I've gotten rid of a good amount of fabric when I lowered the crotch curve, I made a small adjustment to the inseam to give it a little bit more length to reduce these wrinkles here. Okay, and then, I mean, just to finish the topic off, if you try your muslin on after you do this, and these wrinkles are smooth, you've lengthened your, um, the inseam so you don't get you know those diagonal wrinkles pulling from your inseam but now this is too full all you would do is pleat it out of the full hip area so you could just you know the it's going to be approximating the amount you scoop so if you scooped three quarters of an inch you're going to want to get rid of three quarters of an inch here okay and that's just another very easy wedge adjustment Okay, so you would just overlap this time. And that would pick that up. So that's how you can scoop to create more sitting room or and or to remove loose vertical wrinkles. And then if you end up with these tight wrinkles pointing from your inseam, and they really do run along your inseam, okay? They're not originating up at the top, you know, where your crotch intersects your inseam. They're running along the inseam. That's how you can tell that you need to lengthen your, um, your inseam. So that takes care of that. And then we got rid of the extra length right off the pattern by pleating it out up here at the full hip. All right. And then I just want to talk about one last thing here. After you make wedge style adjustments like this, you're throwing your grain line off. So people ask me all the time, how do you reestablish your grain line? The answer is you always establish it from the hem or below where you made wedge shape adjustments. So in this case, I can start at the knee and I can reestablish my grain line by lining my ruler up with the portion of the grain line that was untouched. And I can just, you know, reestablish that like that. Okay. And in this case, it wasn't that big of a deal, but um, that's how you reestablish your grain line. If you have any questions about scooping to remove excess vertical length, or to create more sitting room, or lengthening your inseam, please post your questions below and I will help you. If you have a fitting issue that you need help with, please post that in the comments as well because I really 
enjoy making these videos and especially if I know that I'm answering somebody's question um, you know that makes me feel like I'm you know helping somebody so feel free to post your fitting questions in the comments and I'll add them to my list of upcoming fit tip videos so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you have a great day and I will see you next week for another fit tip Tuesday